Abdurrahman, I'm a lecturer at a public university in Kenya. I deliver lectures in computing and informatics. In our last lesson, we talked about introduction to string. And we had seen that a string is a collection of characters. And basically, uh, as characters, uh, take a format specifier of percentage C, string take a format specifier of percentage S. So today we are going to expound onto that and we are going to get up today's lesson to see what is the difference between the gets and the scan F. So let us start onto that and in that particular journey we are going to talk about the differences of the two functions. Also we are going to talk uh, about the syntax of the two functions and then we are going to implement and see actually what is the difference between the two of them. So basically let's start and see what is the difference uh, between the gets and the, uh, the gets function and the scan f function. But uh, let's start by saying that both of them, both the input, both of them they are what we call input functions. So by saying they are input functions actually they take input from a user. So as a result of that, however, the get function, so the get function will take what you call multiple words. For example, if I write my, if I write uh, a particular a particular word, say. I am a boy. So this particular, uh, what, this particular example, it gives us one, two, three, four words. So all the four words will be displayed. However, when we go to the scan function, it takes only a single word. Only a single word. So in our example, if you are supposed to print I am a boy uh, into, uh, into scan function, it will only print I. Am and a boy will be left out, will be left out of that particular say. And uh, the last thing it is, both of them, the scan F and the uh, inputs, I mean, and, and the gets, they take what you call percentage S. As the format specifier. However, uh, if we expound further, we'll see that uh, scanf takes input. The scanf will take inputs, which will exclude the following uh, three uh, three items. They it will exclude the white space. And that's what uh, we have tried to explain here. So within a particular white space, here it will end. That will exclude the white space. Number two, it will exclude new line. So if we are writing up on a particular line and we do enter, then it will exclude uh, the new line. And finally, if we're using up files, also it will exclude the end of file. So this are the properties of a scan f while when you come to get actually the get function it is opposite it will include as we have seen in this particular example the white space it will include the new line and also it will include the end of file so basically that is the difference uh, between uh, 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 the gets and the scan f and also we have seen some similarities that both of them uh, they take uh, inputs from a user and both of them they use percentage s however um, scan f will just print up a single word as the gets will print up uh, will print up multiple words so that will take us uh, to the syntax and on the syntax the scan f we have been using it for quite some times uh, in our previous video. So the scan f 
syntax basically it takes up a, a format specifier and that particular format specifier has to be in quotes and then it takes here a variable list can be a single variable or a variable list and then terminate however when we go to gets gets takes uh, actually only a variable only a single variable not a variable list so uh, and it is not in quotes so basically that is uh, let's see uh, what is actually now the difference so the difference we have seen here that uh, actually the scan f the variable of the scan f must be followed by an ampersand sign so it's very important to understand that an ampersand sign has to be followed by a variable whereby it shows up the address of uh, uh, that particular uh, variable and uh, two when we go on to it it takes up a variable list while uh, gets takes up a single list while uh, uh, gets to take up a, a single list and this one takes up a variable list here we are seeing also it doesn't take up a, an ampersand sign it's not necessary to give up a number sum sign so number three uh, we can see that it can the scan f take different types of data types so it can take up different types of data type that could be char uh, that could be uh, double and uh, that could be so many of them so it takes up different type of data types it can be int however however when we come to get gets takes only one data type and that it is string so it's very important to understand the differences between the two of them so however that will take us to the implementation and in the implementation basically we are going to write up two programs one using up the scan f and one using up the gets and we want to implement basically to ask a user to enter their three names after entering up upper their three names we want to see with scanf can we display uh, all the three names and with gets can we display all the three names so this will be our experiment to look at as we implement so let's go back now uh, to demonstrate in dev c++ and on to that we have seen in our previous lesson that if you want to display up a, 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 a string you have uh, to have a collection of character and that collection of character basically is from an array so we are declaring up an array called names or, or let's talk about yes call full name f name and on to that we want to declare up a size so let's declare up a very big size maybe 50 and we terminate and then basically we are telling up the user print f to enter their names so basically uh, we are telling up the user enter let's say your three names so a user has to provide the three names and each statement has to be terminated so we terminate our statement there and then the first one you're using up the scan f so of scan f you know that the format specifier should be percentage s and then we are capturing either a variable or a list of variable in our the in our example we are just having one variable which is called f name and actually we terminate and then from there now we want to print so using a print f and what are we printing up we are just telling up a user your name is 
so we are giving up the name they're supposed to enter and then basically we are putting up uh, our variable which is f name which is full name so basically we want to see when we run this particular program uh, what will happen so your name uh, using much better uh, using uh, print I mean scan f is that particular name so let's run this particular program and see what happens so when we run this particular program yes basically yes we have run and actually it asks us to enter your three names so let's enter that Abdurrahman Ahmed Muhammad so those are my three names when we display you can see that using up your name using up a scan f is abdurrahman whereby we had space after abdurrahman it it did not display and ahmed was not display another space was not display and muhammad also was not display so uh, as we have defined that a scan f will only take a single word and it has already taken up a single word and it leaves um, it excludes white space now we have seen it as excluded actually white space, new line, and end of file. So let's write up now uh, the second uh, program on the same and see what happens. So using up gets. So if we take up the same program and uh, we modify it, instead of using up scan f, we're using up uh, gets. So here you're using up gets and you know the uh, uh, the format of gets you don't have to use ampersand neither do you have to use uh, uh, percentage s so here we're using up gets so we are telling print f enter your three names and instead of scan f we are using up uh, gets and let's see now using up gets so the same we're using up gets can we get up the same input if you run this particular program? So let's run this particular program. So we are getting up the same prompt. Enter your three names. And again, you are entering Abdul Rahman. Ahmed. Muhammad. So our output actually gives out all the three names uh, using up the gets your name uh, the get uh, your name is Abdurrahman Ahmed Mohammed so actually this uh, will come up to the end of this particular session to show us the difference between uh, the two of them so thank you for listening however don't forget uh, to subscribe in our lesson thank you